Hello you bunch of tankers and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a new player guide and this is all about getting hull down and why we do it. Now as you can see from the images the hull down tactic is a well used military tactic by tankers in the real world and it basically means that you're hiding the hull of your tank behind hard cover. As you can see from the pictures they're either dug in or they found a, a, a defilade or something like that to hide in and that is getting hull down in a nutshell so let's talk about what i mean what do i mean by the hull and the turret well to put it simply as you can see from the model here the hull is the bottom half and the turret is the top half so how does that equate in game well it's pretty damn simple to be honest every tank can go hull down but tanks with more gun depression um you know things like your centurions your comets anything with sort of more than eight degrees they do find it easier because as you can see in the image you can hide behind the crest of that ridge lower the gun on as much depression as you possibly can and get shots at your enemy now all the enemy can shoot at is the actual turret front so he can shoot the mantler if you've got something like a type 61 with a big cupola yes that can be shot at when you hold down but overall hold down is a better tactic than just sitting there in the open because you're actually a smaller profile as well now, for guns with very little gun depression, you're going to have to use cover, such like the image here. Hard cover, it has to be hard cover. Hiding in a bush is not going to work. Um, but all you need to be doing is making sure that your hull is hidden so that when an enemy tries to shoot at it, it'll just hit the hard cover in front. Now, how does that work when you're actually using it in a battle? Now, here you can see in the Centurion 1, this is exactly perfectly hold down i am bouncing rounds off my turret and giving the enemy as little as possible to fire at but at the same time being able to get shots on them so how does that look in game when you're aiming down sights in sniper view well as you can see i've paused the video and i've highlighted the aiming reticle and the way that you know that you are properly hold down is when the ground is cutting through the bottom of your aiming reticle as you can see here the white line represents the ground and as you can see, it's cutting the bottom half of the aiming reticle off. That is the, the tip of the crest, the top of the hill or berm, whatever it is that you are um, peeking over as you are hull down. Once it's there, you know that all the enemy can see is just your gun and above it. A lot of people get mistaken. They think they're hull down and they aren't. They are exposing their turret ring. And that is a weak point where enemies can shoot and pen you. Now let's look at a tank that doesn't have a lot of gun depression. This is the Type 59-2. And as you can see, it's the same principle, but instead of peaking that ridge trying to get the gun to point down, I'm using the little dip that's on the side of this hill, and I'm sat in there nicely, and we bounce the Minuteman off our turret. And that is the same principle, whether you have a lot of gun depression or not a lot of gun depression. As long as the bottom of that reticle is clipping the ground, you are perfectly pulled down and that's all there is to it guys it's it's nothing too crazy it's nothing uh out there it's just trying to remember what positions you can utilize your tank best if you've got not a lot of gun depression you are going to have to try and find places with hard cover that allows you to get your gun over the top tank with a lot of gun depression you will find are easier to get hold down there are more opportunities that you can use so hold down how? Making sure that the reticle is clipping the ground, whether you're using a lot of gun depression or not a lot of gun depression. Why? Because it lowers the profile of your tank overall, and if you've got a vehicle with a really good turret, nice strong turret front, you can really hold a flank down if needed, much like you can see in the Carnarvon here. We're able to hold off the advancement that the Reds are making by utilizing our turret armor and making sure we've got hard cover between us. When should you do it? Pretty much always. Uh, anytime you are available to move from cover to cover, particularly with turreted vehicles, if you can find a way through the battlefield where you can hide your hull at every engagement, you are going to succeed a lot more 
than if you have the entire tank exposed. Remember guys, a lot of tanks have lower front plates. That's just the first step in hiding it. Hull down means that entire hull is covered. That also means your tracks are covered and you aren't gonna get tracks in place, giving you chance to adapt to the battlefield. So hull down, an extremely, extremely important tactic. I do recommend learning it and using it every single time you possibly can. But other than that, guys, that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. If you didn't, leave it a dislike. And if you know any new tankers, make sure you share this video with them. Um, and the new player's guide playlist as well. Let them learn the tactics that we all use as veteran players and help them to enjoy the game as much as we do. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all soon.